Welcome, wearisome travellers of YouTube, homebrewers and thirsty men and women. Uh, welcome to another Grain to Glass video with me, Owen, at the Blue Transit Brewery. And what are we going to be brewing today? We are brewing a Belgian wit beer. So, not so long ago, I went out to you guys, my subscribers, my brew community, my brewing brothers and sisters, to ask what style of beers should I brew in 2021? And quite a few of you said, brew some Belgian beers. So, I have brewed a Belgian beer. But this is not quite a Belgian beer. It is actually a American Belgian wit beer. So this is a clone of Allagash's White, which is a fairly famous beer over in the States. Um, it is a Belgian wit beer, but very highly um, recognised and appreciated beer. I think if anyone uh, watches Johnny and Brad over at the uh, Craft Beer Channel, you'll know that they are big fans of this beer and have been over to the States and drunk it fairly extensively there. Um, sadly, it's going to be one of the situations where I have never drunk this beer. So I have no yardstick in which to compare. But uh, that said, I decided I'd just give it a go. And if it makes a good beer, that's what matters. So I have captured a little bit of um, cheeky brew day footage for you. And um, let's roll it.
yes, so I hope you enjoyed the brew day. Um, it all went pretty well, not too bad at all. Um, I mean, the recipe itself was um, just adjunct central, you know, it was, there was so many adjuncts in it. It was th three different types of wheat or something, and there was flaked oats in it, and all sorts of shenanigans. Um, but efficiency-wise, came in a little under, uh, which I'm not totally surprised about with that much wheat in there, in the grist. Um, and I actually ended up with a 4.5% beer rather than a 5% beer. Overall, it is a nice, kind of really golden straw colour um, beer. The, the head, if I didn't slap it all over the place the head is um is is pretty decent uh, when you consider just how much wheat and protein um is in this beer so the beer overall is uh it's a belgian whip beer i used um a, a new um yeast manufacturer that i'd never used before called mobile fermentum i think um which I believe is uh, a yeast producer in Poland. And uh, they have actually got a pretty cool range of yeast um, that I hadn't really checked out before. But um, I was actually going to order the malt miller kit um, for this beer. And that's actually what attracted me to the idea of brewing this beer. I went to order it and they were out of the imperial yeast that the kit came with. So I couldn't order that. So I ended up ordering all the all of the different um, parts. Parts? Building a car? All the ingredients I needed. Um, but I had to pick a different yeast. And they did recommend this... Um, FM20, I think it was called White Wellingtons, something along those lines. It's a Belgian uh, whipped beer yeast, so I used that to ferment the beer out. It's said to and recommended to um, start at sort of 1920 and allow it to free rise. Now, I had some challenges with that. Um, allowing a beer to free rise in February in the UK is not exactly an easy thing to do. Um, so I ended up having to sort of manually bump using the, uh, the ink bird, manually bump the temperature up as I went, which is probably not ideal. I think maybe the fermentation character has suffered slightly as a result. But um, the beer uses uh, bitter orange, or curacao orange, um, coriander, and the secret ingredient apparently is grains of paradise. So I want to give a quick shout out to one of my homebrew, home, homebrew club um, guys, um, Mac Ince, who very kindly gave me some Grains of Paradise, um, sort of last minute, because I didn't have any, I couldn't locate any. So um, uh, thank you, thank you, Mac. Um, and yes, this is a uh, pretty classic Belgian whip beer. So what am I getting on the nose? So I'm getting a lot of classic wheat beer characteristic from the yeast. So I'm getting clove, I'm getting a little bit of banana, but not too much. A little bit of bubble gum. I'm getting a little bit of pepper, hint of pepper from the uh, Grains of Paradise. And a nice round roundness of orange. Um, so there's lots going on uh, in the aroma, which is uh, what you would expect. So I'm going to dive in and I'll give you a little uh, taste analysis. Mm. There's a carbonation I've got running pretty high, which is more or less what you're going to want for um, a Belgian whipped beer. Um, so it's lovely and effervescent, fizzles on the tongue. Um, it is maybe a little light on the body, given as it came in at 4.5%, and considering how much wheat's in there, it's maybe a little bit thin. 
Um, the fermentation character is rounding out as the beer uh, is in the keg a little bit longer. Um, I've only had it on the keg for maybe 10 days. Certainly not the first that I've tried. Um, but beautiful flavours from all of the... Uh, all of the spices and the uh, the dried fruits and things that went in there. Um, so I am very pleased, very pleased with this beer. It's very refreshing. Um, it's very pleasant. I think I would like to try it with a slightly different yeast. Um, maybe one that's going to produce more um, fruit characteristic. Um, but otherwise, it's um, really pleased with it. It's, um, it's a nice looking beer, it's a pretty good tasting beer, um, pretty pleased with my first effort for a Belgian wit. So, let me tell you about the recipe, because of course everyone loves this section of um, Brew Day videos, don't they? When you get to listen to me read out grists. Um, so very, very quickly... Uh, I'm not going to give you all of the OG and all of that shenanigans. If you're really interested, go look it up. Uh, so it's 57% pills now. I use Dingman's. It is um, flaked wheat, about 17%. I used wheat malt. I didn't use white wheat, and I kind of wish I did. Uh, and I had some. Um, so that's my bad. Um, that was about 15%. Just normal red wheat malt. Um, there was carapils at 5% and uh, flaked oats at 5%. Now I wasn't sure on the exact recipe. I kind of pieced it together from the Malt Miller's website and kind of whatever else I could find um, online as well as the Brew Father. Um, what, what's it called? Wherever you look up the recipes. The recipes. Um, it used Nugget uh, at uh, 60 minutes, Crystal at 10 minutes, and SARS um, as a Whirlpool. And I've covered off the fruits that went in. And um, I used a water profile, which was, where is it? Um, there's actually a Whitbit style water profile on Brewfather. So I used that. Um, yeah, so that's the recipe. Uh, you can go find it on Brew Father if you're uh, particularly interested. So thanks again for tuning in, and um, if you aren't a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. Uh, I'd always appreciate a like, and um, as always, leave a, leave a comment. I'd love to chat to you guys, uh, talk about beer and brewing and uh, all that fun. And um, I'll see you guys at the next video. Over and out.